Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting. I am coach number 33 and an executive manager with Fun Stampers Journey. And today I have a fun fall card to show you. Um, you have to forgive me as my voice seems to be leaving me and I'm hoping I can do something to get it back. <laughs> so please excuse the croakiness of my voice. Um, I've had quite an interesting week and um, lots going on with Fun Stampers Journey, lots going on in my own personal life. I started back teaching on Monday. Very long story, but I um, have taken over a class in a sweet little elementary school um, due to some uh, concerns and issues that a, a teacher had to step down. So anyway, as you can imagine, life is crazy. But here I am. I've got my mojo back. Um, this is the weekend for me, and um, I'm ready to show you some fun inspiration. So this card is a card that I created for our Thank you card swap at our RG Hits the Road last weekend. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I had a blast with all of the coaches that came and all of our guests. Um, I just had so much fun creating with you guys and sharing things. And I wanted to um, show you how I created this thank you uh, uh, card that I did for the swap. It's very simple. And um, I thought it was just kind of a fresh, I wanted a fresh card, something just very kind of clean and simple, but still with a feel of autumn. So with autumn kind of coming, um, I say coming, technically it's here, but here in Texas, it's maybe not so evident, but it will be soon. It's October 1st, so surely it's coming, um, at least in the morning. My, my voice, maybe that's a testament to that. I don't know. So um, anyway, so that's kind of the... the um, thought behind the card was just clean and simple, just thoughts of uh, all coming, and um, yeah, hopefully you like it, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Pretty easy, so let's go. Okay, so we've got just about everything we need here, and um, I want to point out a few, a few things that you are going to be using. So the very first thing is you're going to need a card base. Um, using our whipped cream cardstock, and it is just a regular, um, let's see here, um, five and a half by eight uh, and a half uh, piece of paper that you just fold in half to create your A2 card. Then you need a strip of our oatmeal cookie, and this is four and a quarter by uh, two inches, so that'll fit there to create your panel. And then another piece of the whipped cream, and this is four and a quarter by one and a half, okay? And that will create that lovely um, piece there to create your sentiment panel. Now, I did create a beautiful little leaf embellishment that I embossed in our Journey Gold embossing pattern. Now, if you're not familiar with embossing, go check out some of my videos. I do um, have some where I show you how to do that. Um, I've done two leaves here because I thought this is the original leaf, but I thought I wonder what it looks like with the leaf that I stamped with and so I'm going to play around a little bit and um, you'll notice these are die cut out and that is because the stamp set that I used has a die coordinating die set and so I used Autumn Days. I love and adore this set, specifically because of the fun, realistic details that it has. Um, and the awesome thing about this set is that it comes with a coordinating die set, so you can get it as a bundle. Now, if you're not a die person and you want a fussy cut, then of course you can buy just the stamp set by itself. But if you want both, there's an extra savings when you buy the bundle, okay? And I have this in our um, envelope sleeves where you can just slide in the stamp set and then put a divider with the uh, die cuts, um, dies, excuse me, on the back. So that is, this is kind of the hero of our card and um, we'll be using this stamp here image to create that beautiful background. Now, the other thing that you'll need, of course, for our um, sentiment panel there is that beautiful thank you. It's nice and a good size. It comes from this stamp set called Must Have Sentiments, and I agree, it is a must have. It has some of these staples. Thank you, hello, um, congratulations. This one I especially like because it includes praying for you. You guys know I'm a believer, faith-based person, and I really love that. 
Um, and then of course, some other ones like happy retirement and so proud of you. And, and this one, of course, sending big hugs is just great and encouraging. And then you did it obviously great for, um, congratulatory type cards. So this is the other set that we use. And, um, the thank you is what I use from here. This one right here. Um, okay. So we're going to use that. And then we will be using some of our cocoa powder ribbon, um, crimp ribbon. It's beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and then a few other extra things, which I'll bring along once we're using it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started showing you how to create the card. Super, super simple. Remember, I just was trying to get a kind of clean and, clean and simple card done for August and for our trades. So I'm using dark roast. It's actually, it's not black. It's actually just a very dark, dark, dark brown. Nice and rich. I love it. It's just almost black, but not quite. It has that um, uh, dark brown tone to it. And we are going to take take it and we are going to stamp this, is it maple leaf? Oak leaf. <laughs> um, all over. And really it is at random. And I'm going to use... Um, of course, my gridded paper here so that I can have a mask. And let's see, I think I just kind of turned it every which possible way all over the card. So you're stamping. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm shaking that. Um, I'll be more gentle with my ink pad. Um, and different directions. Again, I'm trying to um, create um, a, ver a lot of variety here as I stamp around. Some off the page, some on the page, just ever which way. And I'm not going to write too much about this middle hole there because I'm, I know my sentiment panel is going to go over that. Here's some off the page. And let's do one more here in the corner. And on some of the ones I did, I like would come in and, you know, there's a lot of white space up there. So I just kind of hit it with the edge of my stamp and maybe I'll do this little corner just the tip there so we've got a little bit of uh, everything being filled okay so that's it that's the center part of um, of I say the center part, the main part of the card now at this point you can come in and I'm so excited about this part and let's see if I can zoom this up a little bit you see that beautiful splatter now, normally I use like gold or silver or um, maybe an, an actual, another color that coordinates with the card. I'm so excited because I actually have not used our, our Journey Bronze Silk very often. And I thought this is perfect for this card because it's fall and fall colors. And so if you've never used our silks before, it looks like nail polish, guys. But it's not nail polish. That's just the way that it's um, put together, packaged, okay? And it does have a little nail polish type looking brush but the reason for that is you can use it in multiple ways you can either splatter or you can brush on and in this instance i'm going to take it and i'm going to just splatter and I, what i do i'm flicking some of that beautiful um bronze silk all over and i'll hold it up and you never know what you're going to get so i mean there are some tricks to getting it to go in your direction but look at that isn't that beautiful oh i love it I love it. I love it. I love it. I hate that this one's probably going to be covered up. I love the bigger, the bigger blobs. I'll go back and see if I want to add some more later, but there's that. Now let's go ahead and we'll put this off to the side a little bit. Let it kind of settle and dry while we do our stamping and assembling for our panel piece. So like I mentioned, I'm going to get the thank you. And this is like my go-to block guys. It is block E. And always put your stamp, set your stamp on the non-gridded side. I love the grid because it helps me to line up my image really evenly. You'll notice, you want to, if you want to get one of our stamps, you'll notice one side has a print of a grid and the other side is clear. And anyway, it just helps you to line up your image. And of course, we are using our dark roast. How if I do this? Then you can't. Then I'm not shaking the table. And I'm going to line up my stamp here on our grid because that also helps me to straighten it. I love grids. Grids, grids, grids are my friends. Um, and then I'm going to st uh, stamp it on the kind of lower right hand, lining up the image as I go. 
and there we go love it i love it i love it i love it so pretty okay now from there you're going to take your sentiment paddle and um attach it adhere it to the base and i am going to use our craft handy dandy craft glue because you know that is my favorite thing to use um, it dries pretty quickly um, but it gives a little bit of um, you have a little bit of time to kind of shift and move it around until you get it just in the right place and I love that extra few seconds I get because I'm not perfect when I lay everything down and I need some of those you know I need those extra seconds Anyway, so there's that. Now from here, you're going to uh, go ahead and grab your cream, crimp ribbon, your cocoa powder crimp ribbon, and you're going to wrap it all the way around this panel and then tie a bow. Now if you're wanting to be economical, um, you can create a faux bow and just kind of tape it to the back. But um, I'm gonna go ahead, sometimes I don't have time to be economical or I just don't want to take the extra effort to cut and glue, and it does take a little bit of extra time. Um, I'm going to cut enough so that there's about four or five inches um, just strands left on the side, and then I will create my bow. Okay, and I'm lining it up kind of right there at the, um, right where the white, the top part of the white panel touches uh, the oatmeal cookie, and that's kind of a nice reference for me. I do turn it this way because my bow um, ends are going to be sticking out the sides. And then create your bow. If you are bow challenged, look up one of those tutorials on how to create a bow. You can do it, I promise. All bows look funky until you start playing with them and making them look, um, making them, you know, who's the boss? You're the boss. You make the bow look good. You tell it what to do. Sometimes they're very ornery and that's okay. We keep working with them. Okay, I think I got my bow just kind of how I want it. I've got my little ends. Excellent. Okay, and I will trim it to create those sweet little peaks there. All right, now we've got this panel just about done. We have our card base, right? Remember I told you this was short and sweet. Um, we're going to add the leaf now I told you I was going to try to change out the leaf and see if I like this one but before we add the leaf I'm going to go ahead and attach these extra little pieces that I just love um, it add just gives a little bit of extra um, interest to the card now where I got the beautiful jewel I got it from our sea stones aren't these gorgeous oh my gosh aren't they so pretty now we've got like a, a greenish brown, um, a green, a beautiful orange, and those are the three colors, and I just love them. And you're just going to grab one of the large kind of greenish brown ones, or you can use a green, or maybe you want an orange. Really, it's up to you. Um, in this instance, or this case, I'm going to do the green. Oh, you know what? I'm backing up. Let me back up a bit. I forgot. I always, I had, I'd put the uh, Christmas leaf first. Um, and you're wondering, Christmas? Well, yes, it is what it's called. It's called Christmas leaf. It is one of our bloom benefits, guys. You spend $50 and you get to choose a bloom benefit for free. And we have categories. So now it's not only if you spend $50, you get something for free. And every $50, you can choose something for free. If But then I have we have different levels. Now, before I, back, um, I continue, I'll show you what I did. I just snipped that top part of this and I have all this to use later. Um, and this one is so fun because it comes with these little beautiful little stamen looking deals and these little spirally deals. I love them. And it's free. Free. Spend the 50 and you get it for free. So um, anyway, at different levels. And um, if you spend 100, you have some other options. If you spend 100, or not 100, yeah, 150, you've got some other options. So kind of cool. I'm using the craft glue again. I'm going to adhere it here just to the center. And then I come and put the uh, little green... Uh, sea stone right over it. There we go. So pretty. I do press down pretty firmly so it kind of um, grabs onto the ribbon and of course that craft glue is going to help that stay on um, nicely as well. 
Okay, so now this panel is ready to be adhered. Now I used our foam squares to do that because I wanted it to pop up just a bit. And um, I use our medium foam squares. It's nice to have a couple of sizes. If you were just wanting to get one size, you didn't want to get both sizes because we offer them in medium and small, I would recommend getting the medium because you can cut them down to size. So that's always a nice option. Um, if you're just granted there, I think are there only two dollars and ninety five cents or something like that. So not very costly, but again, you know, we're all you know tight on funds sometimes, and so it's always nice to know what you can uh, cut back on. So this is a great option if you just want one, go for the larger squares. Okay, and so now you're just going to kind of position it about uh, three quarters of an inch above the bottom. Press down. There's my ribbon, my sinew. Now you could tack the ribbon down. I don't think I did earlier, but um, if you are going to tack it down, did I do that crooked? Man, I'm a mess. I'm just going to, sorry guys, I'm like, sometimes, not always. <laughs> Usually I'm like, oh, whatever, no one cares. But, you know, we do want to get it straight. I think that's a little better, right? We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Okay, so at this point, now you can come and you can add your leaf cut out. Now remember I did use the maple leaf originally um, on the card. I'm going to try out this little oak leaf <laughs> and see how I like it. Ooh, and I love it. Love it. And that's it guys. You just slide it under you um, uh, just for positioning. And then I used um, our craft glue, kind of tricky here, and just put a little bit of glue right there where it touches the card base. Just a little and then press down and that was it. Now if you wanted this to kind of remain popped up, you can kind of slide a pop dot there. Make sure you don't cover your thank you sentiment. Poof out that bow and there you go. All right, so that was it. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Really the only time consuming thing is, um, and it's not that time consuming, is um, embossing this beautiful deal and uh, die cutting it out. Because, I mean, you can fussy cut as well. I love fussy cutting. Um, anyway, so hope you, hopefully you love it. Hopefully you think it's a fun card to uh, try at home. I actually do love it with the oak leaf. Um, I love it with both and technically, okay, so this is a fun, here's a fun idea. You could create a card set um, as a gift, as a host gift, as a teacher gift, as a any kind of gift, create them, send it, put it in a nice cute little package, have this, have this one, have one for every leaf in the set. You can create, a, put this leaf, this one, all of those. So a five card set, add a little envelope to it, package it nice and pretty, and it would be a great gift to give to someone. So anyway, and, and fairly simple to make doesn't take too much time and of course I'm gonna bring this up and see if you can see the um, pretty gold uh, bronze silk sorry it's a little blurry there the bronze silk there's a little bit of the shimmer there so it, it's bronze so it does have a little bit of metallic shimmer so anyway I kind of love it hopefully you love it quick simple easy um, hopefully you are inspired to go create some fun fall cards your way hopefully it's cooler in your part of the world oh y'all I just realized this is there Forgive me for this being in the camera view. I'm trying out a little new little system for my videos. So anyway, so there, it's October 1st. Lots of new happening. Lots going on. Guys, I'm going to do um, a full video later explaining everything. But I just want to tell you, we have our planners and all of our planner, our journey days items on sale for 25% this month. So if you are a planner person, you need to take advantage. If you want the information on that, just let me know. I will send you the info. Um, also, we have a new recruiting promotion for October. Crazy. It is called The Big Deal because it is quite a big deal. Um, you can join the journey for $25. This is the lowest we have ever done an incentive a sign up promotion. Um, it is, there's some specifics. So um, if you can, you can join 
purchasing our hobbyist or our designer is what we call kit, which is normally $49.95, so it's discounted half off, um, so $25. And here's the crazy big deal. So because the, because the designer kit, you don't get that much. You know, our platinum kit is the one where you get everything, and it's $199 to join. We have our star kit, which is kind of like the medium. You get well, you get a good bit of stuff, and it's $99. It's a good deal. Um, they're all good deals, by the way. Um, and then the designer kit, which is $49.99, you just get a couple of stamp sets. You get a couple of things, a few, you know, basically like a sample of things. Um, it's, it's directed for the hobbyist, you know, it's, it's a very low price and get you in and get you some things to get started with. So the this designer kit now discounted half off for the month of October, $25 to join to purchase the kit uh, to become a coach. And then if once you spend, um, once you, uh, ha excuse me, spend your $150 on a qualifying order, so $150 order, you have the opportunity to purchase the Platinum Machine. This one right here, which you can kind of see here, our big Mama Honka die cutting machine, awesome, eight and a half by 11 platform, magnetic board, everything, uh, embossing folder and mat and everything. You get the opportunity to purchase it for 50 bucks. That's crazy. It, it retails for $249.99. That's a major big deal. So if you've been wanting to join and you've been wanting that platinum machine, this is a good, this is a great deal. Now, now again, it's you, once you join, you, it's the $25 and you'll have uh, 21 days, three weeks, that's the fine print, 21 days to place your order of $150 or more and you can tack that on for 50 bucks. So quite a nice deal. So that's it. That is the awesome news. We have a few other things going on. We have a Be Brave card drive. Um, we have quite a few things. October is going to be a fun, fun, big month. There's also FSJ Presents coming in in, in December. Full day crafting online event. You have to, have to, have to um, uh, be a part of that. So much fun. Okay, like guys, ladies, gentlemen, um, I think that's it for me today. I'm glad to connect with you and I am looking forward to hopping back on and doing another project. Ooh, I forgot. Coach Collective. If you have not heard about Coach Collective, go to my blog, which is www.janiscrates.com and check out our Coach Collective post. post. Um, again, if you want to purchase any of these products, go to www.funstamperstrainy.com forward slash Janice Whiting and shop there like you would any online store. Thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you later. Bye.